Hi, welcome to Trading with TK, teaching you to turn ideas into money. We're at www.tradingwithtk.com and it's Monday, November 10th. Uh, so before we get into the market, I uh, just want to tell all my readers that as of tonight, you're going to be able to view my videos in two formats. Uh, the format that you've been watching it in the last couple of days and the new format which will be in a high resolution format and the charts will be much clearer uh, when you look at them. Now it'll take you to YouTube to watch the video but uh, that's okay then you can come back to the site. Okay so how do you get there? Alright on my site underneath the day's video there'll be a link that will tell you how that you can watch this video in high resolution and you just click on the link and uh, and the video will come up in high resolution so uh, that's starting tonight. I actually put it on Friday but I didn't tell anybody about it and uh, so I want to give a shout out to uh, three of my readers um, who were very helpful in uh, in supplying me with uh, some information on how to get this done? This has been a I've been working on I've been working on this quite a while. It's a it's a tricky little thing making these videos and getting them over to YouTube. Uh, so I want to give a shout out to uh, Dennis. You guys know who you are. Uh, Constantine, thanks a lot. And Suzuki, thanks guys. Big help. Okay, let's get to the market. Market opens with a bang. Um, I guess a lot of emotion there. Uh, I, I was quite impressed with it. I thought the good. I thought the news that created the uh, the rally uh, was uh, solid, good news, and uh, it didn't last more than uh, half an hour, and the selling started, and it was persistent all day long. The market never once again rallied uh, from from the opening until late in the late late in the day, and uh, they just sat on the market. All day it was some. It felt like it was some kind of program where they just sold, 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 sold all day until they finally sold whatever they had to sell, and it was persistent, persistent all day. And they got the market down to a key level. Uh, the Dow and the and the Qs, you know, they got down to that key level. I think it's a key level. I could call it the cliff. And uh, and even when they got it there, it looked like it wasn't going to hold. Um, because, the, because of the persistency of the selling, but it did hold. And uh, you know, the last 45 minutes of the day, uh, the market managed to uh, dig its way back out of there, and uh, it closed on a plus tick. Even though it closed off on the day, uh, it did close on a plus tick. Now, like I said, nothing was violated, but it did make me feel uncomfortable having it come all the way back down there again. And, it, and it's still in the confines of this right shoulder uh, of of my theory of this reverse head and shoulders, but I need to see a rally tomorrow. And I want to see a good old-fashioned rally. Uh, I don't want to see something that rallies and dies on the vine. I, I want to see some decent uh, uh, interest on the buy side. Now, my indicator is uh, quite oversold, so it's in a position where we, 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 we should get a rally, but I want to see, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, I want to see a, uh, a broad rally, so to speak. So we'll see what, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll look at the major indexes. I'll show you all the areas that they got to. I'll show you the key areas that I don't want to see. I don't want to see them violated. And um, so, uh, in light of that, in light of the action of the market, I'm not going to add anything to my uh, to my portfolio. Uh, we did buy uh, that SFI this morning at a dollar forty, so we'll take a look at that, and then we'll take a look at all the major indexes. So uh, don't go away. It's a daily bar chart of SFI that we bought this morning. Uh, I bought it at a dollar forty, uh, ran up to a dollar sixty-five, and then it pulled back with the rest of the market. But the ascending triangle is still intact. Still has rising bottoms, higher highs and higher lows. That's the look we're looking at there. So. It still looks pretty promising. Uh, the other, the other uh, look that we had here was the bowl. I pointed out yesterday that we've got like a bowl bottom, pretty bullish. Okay, so we'll put that into the portfolio with uh, with my other positions and. Uh, 
Hopefully, in a week or two, this thing will be uh, will be ringing the register in this. All right, let's go take a look at the major indexes, and we'll look at some key areas. Okay, we're looking at a daily bar chart of the Dow. Now, uh, I used these uh, visual aids yesterday to point out my theory of the reverse head and shoulders, this being the left shoulder, this being the right shoulder, and this box is being being the right shoulder. I'm sorry, this is the left shoulder, the head, right shoulder. And um, now the Dow did not get all the way down to its uh, key area, which is down here. And uh, looking at this bar, you'd say, well, it's just, you know, it's just um, working back and forth to make the uh, right shoulder complete. That's true. But when you look at the bar uh, without watching the market all day, uh, you, there's a different, uh, uh, there's a different analysis. Uh, you don't, you don't, uh, you don't see how persistent the selling was all day when you just look at the bar. That's why you have to watch the tape, and then you have to apply that to the uh, the, the technical analysis part. So um, this clearly did not violate anything, um, and I would like to see a, uh, I'd like to see a rally. I don't, I'm not looking for a breakout tomorrow, but I'd like to see a rally about get up above this uh, the high of today anyway. What I do not want to see is a close below this low. Um, I don't know if I would totally abandon my position, but it would certainly um, it would certainly uh, put doubt uh, about it. So that's why I think tomorrow is a key day, and I need to get I need to get a rally going tomorrow. Okay, let's go take a look at the uh, uh, transportation average. Okay, here we're looking at the transportation average. Um, now, the transportation average, actually, one of the better acting of the indexes, as you can see, it never really came down to that key area there. And it actually closed up 23, uh, 23 uh, points. So, uh, although it still looks like a lot of work has to be done, so it can kind of match this uh, left shoulder here, left shoulder head, right shoulder. Uh, so there's going to be uh, trying our patience, I believe, for a few more days. But like I said, I really do want to see uh, some kind of a rally tomorrow. Um, now let's go take a look at the uh, Russell 2000. Okay, this is the Russell 2000. Same look, you know, the reverse head and shoulders is the theory. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. Um, and this closed right on the support level today. So, um, you know, this, this we definitely need to see a rally in this tomorrow. Like I said, I'm not looking for the breakout on the upside. I'm just looking, I'm just looking for some strength in the market because if my theory is true, if this does turn out to be a reverse head and shoulders, then the market should show us that it's going to be a reverse head and shoulders and it should, it should show us some strength tomorrow. So, uh, that's why, to, that's why to me it's important. Um, that we see some strength or some kind of a rally tomorrow because uh, if the theory is true, uh, it has to start to play out. So um, we'll see what tomorrow brings. We're going to go take a look at the uh, QQQs. First, we're going to look at the SPY, which is basically the Standard Poor's 500. And, uh, you know, it's the same look. All these indexes have the same look. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. Uh, and you can see how it came down and tested that uh, that key area there, and then late in the day it, it bounced off of it. So uh, they all have the same look. Nothing's been violated. Uh, what what just made me uncomfortable was the persistence of the selling that went on all day today. Um, okay, let's finally take a look at the QQQQs. Okay, here we have a daily bar chart of the QQQQs, and you know similar look, but. Um, this is the uh, index that I was watching. It got right down to that key level. Uh, persistent selling all day, right from the opening, and uh, and it managed to, it managed to uh, rally a little bit off the low. That's why tomorrow is uh, going to be an important day for me. I do not want to see this area violated on a closing basis. So uh, you know, uh, give me my my give me my rally tomorrow, and I'll. I'll start to feel a little more confident that uh, this pattern is going to work out. As of right now, it's still intact. So, uh, but like I said, what made me uncomfortable was the uh, was the persistence of the selling. So let's see what we get tomorrow, 
And uh, yeah, that's my view of the market. And um, until tomorrow, this is TK signing off.